Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to purchase some Verge and then store it in your own Verge wallet. So let's get going. Okay, so now we're on the Verge market and we want to buy some Verge. Now, you'll see down here my total available amount of value or Bitcoin here is 0 0.012. That is the amount of Bitcoin in my Bitcoin wallet. I'm going to uh, purchase the max amount of uh, Verge coin that I can right now. In fact, what is Verge right now? 20 cents. Okay. It's more expensive than it was, but it's still pretty cheap. So I'm going to go ahead and buy as much Verge as I can at 20 cents. All right, so the price. Okay, we want the price. We're going to choose last. Don't get it. All right, so I've loaded up this transaction. Um, it's going to allow me to purchase 820 worth of Verge. So I'm going to buy. All right, and it's going to ask me to confirm, which I will do. And there it goes, XVG buy placed. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you through the download of the Verge wallet. Uh, we want a Verge wallet that we can have and hold and keep on our own computer. Currency.com, we're just gonna click this little download here. All right, and I'll take this out onto the desktop. All right, I don't need that one. Okay, so it downloads onto the desktop. Now uh, I have uh, 7Z or 7-zip. I'm gonna decompress here or extract to a folder right on my desktop. All right, and then we just go in here. Uh, Okay, and uh, basically uh, after we've uh, expanded it, decompressed it, we can just go into the folder here and double click. Okay, and the first time you run this, it's going to ask you uh, to restore or create. In this case, we're just going to create. Just click next. You're going to be presented with a seed. You want to write this seed down and keep it in a safe place. Uh, this seed will allow you to uh, restore your wallet if you need to uh, reinstall uh, on a different computer or you know after a crash or any uh, other calamity such as that so the seed is very important okay and once you have uh, noted and recorded your seed you're gonna click next alright once you have retyped your seed you can proceed on to the next step which is to choose a password you want a good password here alright and then uh, type it twice and click OK and it's going to generate a seed. Uh, usually tells you that you're offline. And then you just open it right back up again. Okay. And there's your wallet. Okay, and then there's a little slight caveat with the uh, Verge wallet right now. Uh, they're experiencing a lot of high traffic, so they've provided some alternate servers here. So I'm just going to highlight this guy right here. And they want us to change the SSL port uh, from three to two. Oh, uh, from two to three, pardon me. All right, so uh, we just go back over here to our wallet. We hit this little red dot, which tells me that it's not connected. And then we're gonna paste in that server there that we just copied from their Twitter feed. And uh, we want to adjust this number uh, from 5002 to uh, 3. And click OK. And lo and behold, uh, we get the wallet up and running. So now that we got our wallet, let's move some Verge into it. OK. Hey, look, it's filled. There it goes. <laughs> I hope I caught that. Uh, okay, so the order got filled, and now the uh, money should be in my Verge wallet. And let's do this. Let's uh, bling, bling, bling. 
let's refresh and then you can see uh, there uh, the Bitcoin wallet is basically empty the Verge wallet has 820 Verge in it okay alrighty so that's all well and good let's go over here so here's our uh, our wallet and we've got this nice little green light which is nice we can go over to here to history and see no history but we see a zero balance okay so <clears throat> I want to do a receive I'm going to copy this guy into the clipboard and I'm going to go uh, let's do this okay so uh, here's the verge wallet I'm going to hit this minus all right and it wants the address okay so I'm gonna uh, paste in the address there all right all righty so now that we've got the address in there uh, how much do I want to send I want to send it all darn it so I hit that little up arrow and it, it gave me all and then it's gonna withdraw and the fee is pretty small so we're just gonna hit uh, withdraw and it wants my six digit Google Authenticator code which it should okay this way it knows that it's me okay and there's the withdrawal and that's pretty darn cool right okay so uh, the pending withdrawal I can see that it showed up over here in the wallet is unconfirmed okay so I'm just gonna do a refresh here and uh, it is no longer a pending withdrawal on uh, Bittrex, it is a completed withdrawal. You can see it here, 1225 uh, XVG uh, 820 completed. Okay, and then it shows up over here in the wallet. Let's get rid of this. We can say goodbye to Bittrex for the moment and just uh, glory in our, uh, our new <laughs> wallet over here. So, oh, there it is. Uh, I've got the balance in the wallet and uh, all is well and good. Uh, having the crypto in your own wallet is the, the most secure way to hold your cryptocurrency. That's the long and short of it. Thank you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy my videos. Uh, I wish you all uh, a Merry Christmas and uh, I hope you uh, can find and hold the cryptocurrency of your choice and uh, be, uh, be glad in it. Let us be glad in it. Uh, if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. If you wish to subscribe, I would uh, love it. And uh, Crypto Dad out. Thank you.